I welcome you all for the today's session how to validate and enhance your product performance easily. Myself Sham Chandar, application engineer representing EGS Computers India Private Limited. These are the today's agenda for the session. Why simulation? So a lot of people have an query like why we need to do simulation? How important is it? Is this a mandatory one? This slide will be a light in the mist for those kind of questions. So in simulation, we can virtually test our product under various real life working condition. By using simulation, we don't need to invest huge money and time on prototype testing and redesigning until we get optimal result, which will directly affect the overall cost of the product and time to the market. By simulation, we can validate our product and make changes at the initial level of the design stage which gives more confidence on product reliability performance these are the three dedicated validation tool provided by SolidWorks SolidWorks simulation is for structural analysis SolidWorks flow is for studying flow dynamics over the product SolidWorks plastic is for analyzing injection molding of plastic components now let's see SolidWorks simulation SolidWorks simulation has three models. In standard, we have a static analysis in which we can analyze how much load the product can withstand. And in FETIC, we can analyze how much cycle the product can withstand the same load. And in motion, we have here is the time based motion where we can choose or we can get what is the torque and power of a particular shaft which was running at this RPM about this revolutions and trend tracker is a time saving tool where we can we can do the simulation the same interface for multiple variety of parameters and variables on top of simulation standard we have professional where we can do frequency analysis in which we can study the resonant frequency of the component and uh, buckling where we can study the what is the buckling load of a cylinder component in which the yield strength will be, uh, yield strength of the component will be high but due to the cylinder the, the component may buckle and uh, 2D simplification sub modeling is a simplification tool for a huge assembly drop test is for simulating and sudden impact due to mishandling and component optimization is an kind of artificial which we can do possible number of iterations on an different variable combinations to get an optimum result on mass and the temperature or load etc and material web portal where SolidWorks provide a dedicated web portal in which we can get some rare material data properties if we are doing some R&D works. On top of SolidWorks standard and professional we have premium where, when, where we can do non-linear and dynamic analysis. Now I have chosen what is the possible validations can be done on the V2 model engine. So these are the possible study can be done. Among that I have chosen static analysis, thermal stress and fatigue analysis. So I have taken, I have taken the, the valve of the engine. So let's see the static analysis. So this is the graphic window of SolidWorks 3D. CAD and to go to the validation tool just click the add-ins and choose SOLOX simulation or flow simulation whatever we required just click OK so in new study choose static and SOLIDWORKS as a simple five steps applying the material boundary condition in where we get fixtures and external loads and meshing the model, running the study and viewing the result. These simple five steps can be done for any kind of analysis, complicated analysis. So let's assign material property. 
so in this huge design <coughs> material database have chosen ASI steel and we have an inbuilt elastic modulus poison ratio data so the red color denotes that these material properties are mandatory to run this study and blue color indicated material properties are not a mandatory one but which is necessary for some other studies let's click OK applying boundary condition like fixtures fixing the base then applying your load Mesh the model and meshing the model it will be split into small components where we can see the splitted solid mesh so this is a mesh where in background screen the mathematical analysis will be done based on this mesh data so while running this is the stress distribution in the product and this is the displacement of the product due to the applied stress applied load and factor of safety of the model we have a 3.4 factor of safety which is much enough for the design and in the result validation part we have a dedicated report option where we can document in an editable format so the documentation time can be hugely saved so where we can choose the designers name company or logo if we required and just clicking publish we will get a document of the entire process So in static analysis we calculate the strength of the part of the assembly and uh, finding the peak and overall stresses of the model. Now let's see thermal stress analysis. A stress will not only be due to mechanical it will be also due to thermal load. So let's choose a thermal study. Just apply the material and assign a temperature at the base where due to combustion a huge temperature will be operating and apply a convection for the all exposed component and due to a trial study I am applying some value for the convection coefficient depending on the material now run the model so so now the meshing has happened and this is a temperature distribution of the model due to the assigned temperature from this we can include this to the static study by just copying the study which we have done before name it as thermal now to include to import the thermal study just go to the product property and choose the option temperature from the thermal study just click OK so now the temperature load the thermal load and the mechanical load has been updated now run the study so this is the so th so this is the overall stress due to the mechanical load and thermal load and we can also do the same procedure like a report generation and we can choose what is the stress value at particular location by using probe options 
so in the pro version we can choose the location or if we know the node numbers we can choose that one so by choosing here we get what is the stress value at this particular locations we can also get it as a graphical value and import into other formats so in thermal stress analysis we can do conduction convection and radiation we can do what is the temperature distribution what is the thermal stress on the component due to the temperature fatigue analysis now we can calculate how much cycle the load of the same load can be withstand by the component by opening and fatigue analysis choose fatigue analysis study choose now just add an event enter the amount of cycle like 10000 cycles or or a lakhs of millions of cycles you required and fully reversed model is whatever load we give in actual it will be in both in tensile and compressive and choose the study from which you need to do the fatigue analysis now by <coughs> after assigning the event by running the study we get a damage percentage and life cycle so this is the damage percentage for running the certain cycles and this is the life cycle of the component after running certain certain number of cycles of load not only that we can also include the sn curve directly from the database we don't need to apply or we don't need to get it from separate model so here we have a dedicated option as fatigue sn curve the load versus the number of cycle curve can be defined here and if you have any options we have a separate and dedicated options like sme aesthetic steel curves we have it here just click apply and close it so in fatigue analysis we can find the mean time between failures and the products performance the guarantee kind of guarantee and warranty will be decided by this analysis summary let's let's have an overview of what we have come across static analysis we study the overall stresses and whether the component can withstand that kind of stresses and in thermal analysis what is the temperature distribution of through the component and what is the thermal effect stresses on the component and fatigue we calculated the life stif, life cycle estimation through which the product guarantee and warranty can be fixed so <coughs> in solvex simulation we can have wide variety of option to post analyze the result and documentation is customizable format within a click away these are our proud esteemed customers Thank you gentlemen if you have any queries kindly contact us